Hello everyone. Our today's topic is Euclid's division algorithm. Before we proceed further, let's understand the meaning of term algorithm. Algorithm means series of well-defined steps which gives us procedure to solve a type of a problem. This term was first coined by 9th century Persian mathematician, very famous mathematician Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, who is also known as father of modern algebra. Now, algebra term also comes from his famous book, Hisab al-Jabr, which was written by him in 9th century. And he is the one who gave Hindu Arabic numeral system. Now, what is the meaning of term Euclid's division algorithm? Euclid's division algorithm is a technique to compute HCF of two positive integers using Euclid's division lemma. Now here HCF is also sometimes called as GCD, greatest common or highest common factor. Before we try to understand how to use this algorithm or how to find HCF using Euclid's division algorithm, again let's go back to our middle school where we were taught how to find HCF of two numbers using long division method. I'm going to long, use long division method to find HCF of two numbers 400, 55 and 42. Step number one is you divide these two numbers with bigger number as dividend and smaller number as divisor. So if I divide these two numbers, I will get 42 times 1 is 42. I'll get uh, 3, difference is 3 and 5. Yeah, 35 times 0 is. Now this remainder will become my next divisor and last divisor will become dividend. And I will write it as 35 divided by 42. Now 1 is a quotient and remainder is 7. Now again, this remainder will become my divisor and last divisor will become dividend. So I will write 35 here and I know that 7 times 5 is 35 and this process will continue till the remainder becomes 0. And the last divisor, the last divisor is known as HCF of two numbers means in this case HCF of 455 and 42 is equal to 7. Let me express the same long division in terms of Euclid's division lemma. If I express these two numbers in the form of a equals to bq plus r, what will I get? I will get 455 equals to 42 times 10 plus 35. Now, in second case here, 42 is dividend and 35 is divisor. So again, here if I apply E equals to BQ plus R, I'll get 42 equals to 35 times 1 plus 7. Now again, apply Euclid's division lemma here. 35 equals to 7 times 5 plus 0. So I have written the same long division in terms of Euclid's division lemma. Now let's see, in this case, what happens? If we ignore the long division method and if we want to solve it purely using Euclid's division lemma, what I have to do is the previous divisor has to be written as A and the last remainder has to be written as B. Similarly, in next step, the last B or the divisor has to be written as A or dividend and the last remainder R in next step has to be written as B or the divisor and this will continue till I get remainder equals to 0, r equals to 0 and the last b, the last divisor is my HCF. So if we skip the long division method and we use only Euclid's division lemma, we can find HCF of two numbers. Yeah. First step, second step, third step and HCF is 7 and this procedure of finding HCF of two numbers, the two numbers were 455 and 42 is defined as Euclid's division algorithm. 
how does it work or why does it work it works because for a equals to bq plus r hcf of a and b is always same as hcf of b and r this is the reason why this method works now let us start backwards hcf of 7 and 35 is 7 why it is 7 because the remainder is 0 35 is a multiple of 7 but hcf of a and b is equal to hcf of b and r let's go to the previous step now here hcf of 42 and 35 is same as hcf of 35 and 7 my last step says that hcf of 35 and 7 is 7 therefore hcf of 42 and 35 has to be 7 now again go backward i know that hcf of 42 and 35 is 7 go one step back now now here hcf of 42 and 35 i know is 7 which means hcf of 4 5 5 and 42 has to be same that is 7 so this is how this method works now let us again apply euclid's division algorithm to find hcf of two bigger numbers now a bit challenging let's take now step number one is which one is a bigger number obviously one two five seven six is a bigger number and this one is a smaller number so i'll write it i'll take it as a and i'll take four zero five two as b and i'll write it in the in the form of a equals to bq plus r using euclid's division lemma i'll get one two five seven six equals to four zero five two times what what shall i write here uh, you have to do a little bit of calculations. If I multiply 4 by 3, it is uh, 12. So roughly I get an idea. Maybe uh, the third multiple will work. So let's see what is 4052 times 3. If I multiply these two numbers, I will get 1256. And yes, 1256 is smaller than 12576. And what is the difference of these two numbers? Difference of these two numbers is 420, which means... Here I will write 3 as quotient and the remainder will be 420. So uh, let me let me write it nicely and uh, let me erase it. Yeah. So it will be 3 times plus remainder is 420. Now previous divisor will become dividend and the last remainder will become divisor and let's see what what how will we write it Four, 4052 equals 420 times i have to find the quotient and remainder now if i multiply 420 by 10 i'll get 4200 zero, zero, which will be bigger this than this number let me try this with 420 times 9 so i will get 3780 Yes, 3780 is smaller than 4052. And what is the difference of these two numbers? Difference is 272, which means the quotient will be 9 and the remainder will be 272. Next step. Next step. Divisor should become dividend and last remainder should become divisor. So I'll write as 420 equals 272 times now again uh, this is again a challenge the multiplication oh very simple i know that 2752 times 2 is equal to 544 which will be bigger than this so it means it has to be multiplied by 1 and the difference of 420 and 272 what is the difference of these two numbers difference is 148 so 148 is the remainder Again, last divisor be will become dividend and this remainder will become divisor. So 272 and 48 as A and B and let us find the value of Q and R. Again, Q will be this will be 1 uh, and the remainder will be equal to 124, 124. Once again, last divisor will become dividend last remainder will become divisor so b becomes a r becomes b and we will get now again i'll multiply this with one because if i multiply by two uh, it will become bigger than one four eight greater than one four eight so we'll get uh 
quotient equals 1 and the remainder equals to 24. Next step, again following the same step, this becomes my next dividend and this becomes my next divisor, we'll get 124 equals to 24 times 24 times 5 is 120. So 5 is a quotient and remainder is 4. Yes, now next step. Now this becomes my dividend and this becomes my divisor and these are the numbers which I'll get. Oh, 4 times 6 is 24, remainder is 0. So we have to continue this step till the remainder becomes 0. Now I know that the remainder is 0. Then what is HCF? HCF is the last divisor. 4 is HCF in this case. I'm sure now you know how to find HCF of two numbers using Euclid's division lemma. And now it's your turn to solve few questions. You can pause the video, try it yourself. I'm not going to give you the answers. You can write the answers in the comment section. And if you like this video, hit on like button, subscribe to watch more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.